For today's video in the Pharmaceutics video series, we will be showing you how to make drug fatty blend suppositories. When you're doing the calculations, always calculate for extra suppositories. In this case, we are making six suppositories, but we are going to calculate the amount of drug needed to make eight. This ensures that you will have enough to pour all six suppositories. The first thing you are going to want to do is gather all of your materials. You will need Q-tips, an evaporating dish, a glass thermometer, mineral oil, glycerin, a rubber spatula, metal spatulas, and glass stirring rods, a hot plate, a glass beaker, a suppository mold. For the molds that we have in our lab, each cavity holds around 2 grams of drug fatty blend, calamine powder. For demonstration purposes, we are going to say that our drug is a hydrophilic drug. Sheets of foil to use to wrap the suppositories and an electronic balance. Make sure you calibrate the balance before using it. For step two, you are going to clean all of your glassware and your workstation. For step three, go ahead and start boiling water in the glass beaker to use as your water bath. For step five, you are going to weigh out the drug and the fatty blend. For this prep, we are using calamine powder as our drug. Next, you are going to weigh out the fatty blend. You are actually going to weigh out two separate aliquots of the fatty blend. The first aliquot will contain four grams. The second aliquot will contain eight grams. For step six, you are going to lubricate the suppository mold. It's very important to remember that the lubricant you use is dependent on the drug that you are using in the prescription. If the drug is hydrophilic, then the vehicle you use to suspend the drug must be hydrophobic. The reason for this is so the drug will be released from the vehicle when inserted into the person's body. Since the vehicle is hydrophobic, the lubricant must be hydrophilic. In this case, the drug we are using is hydrophilic, so we would use Fatty Blend as our hydrophobic vehicle, and we would use glycerin as our hydrophilic lubricant. Go ahead and open your suppository mold. Place one drop of glycerin into every other cavity. Use the Q-tip to spread the glycerin and try to get an even distribution within all of the cavities. Even if you are not using all of the cavities, it's a good idea to lubricate all of them, just in case you close the mold and forget which side you started on. Now you can go ahead and close the mold. For step 7, you are going to combine the fatty blend with the drug. Place the evaporating dish over the water bath and add the first aliquot of fatty blend to the dish. This is going to be the 4 gram aliquot. While the fatty blend is melting, go ahead and levigate your drug. The levigating agent you use is dependent on what type of drug you're dealing with. If your drug is hydrophilic, you are going to want to use a hydrophobic levigating agent so that you can combine the drug with the vehicle. In this case, we have a hydrophilic drug, so we are going to use a hydrophobic levigating agent, which would be mineral oil. If you were dealing with a hydrophobic drug, you would need a hydrophilic levigating agent, like glycerin. Use the rubber spatula to help get all of the drug together. At this point, your fatty blend should be melted down and you can start adding the drug in small increments to the evaporating dish. Make sure to continuously stir while you add the drug. Once thoroughly mixed, 
go ahead and remove the evaporating dish from the water bath. Pour the mixture into the suppository cavities, filling each cavity about halfway. Place the evaporating dish back over the water bath and add the second aliquot of the fatty blend. This should be the 8 gram aliquot. Mix any of the remaining drug with the fatty blend while you melt the two together. Once mixed thoroughly, go ahead and remove the evaporating dish. Pour the mixture into each of the cavities. You can now over pour into each cavity. Place the suppositories into the refrigerator. Once the suppositories have hardened, you can remove the mold from the refrigerator and scrape off the excess from the top. Open the mold and remove the suppositories. You are now going to remelt the suppositories using the evaporating dish and the water bath. This is why this procedure is known as the double pour method. You would use the double pour method if your prescription called for a large quantity of drug. Once the suppositories have melted, you can go ahead and remove the evaporating dish from the water bath. Pour the mixture into the suppository mold, making sure to overfill the cavities slightly. Place in the refrigerator and wait until the suppositories harden. Once complete, you can go ahead and remove the mold from the refrigerator and scrape the excess off the top. Remove the suppositories. They should appear smooth and free of any air pockets. Now we will show you a demonstration on how to wrap a suppository. Place your suppository into the foil and fold the foil slightly before the halfway point. Fold in the ends of the foil. Go ahead and roll the rest of the suppository using the remaining foil. And there you have it!